skip it up and that up. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Rich of Review Tech USA, and what what are you doing? Oh man, I know people are gonna get angry, but you know what? I tell it how it is. <laughs> All these people put up these videos about how the PS4 and the 720, the Xbox 720, excuse me, are going to blow away the Wii U, and they think it's going to be this huge next-gen step. You're going to be very disappointed. And I actually talked about this a long time ago. I predicted what GPU was going to be in the Xbox 720, and other rumors, educated ones from people inside AMD who leaked documents, the same GPU is going to be inside the PS4. Let's get into the article, talk more about the uh, graphics processor later on. So Engadget has reported that AMD has filed suit against 4X employees, claiming that the executive stole thousands of confidential documents. These documents included very sensitive information about technology that's going to be used in next-gen consoles. Like I talked about last year and other sources talked about, uh, the chips inside the PS4 and 720, PS4 first, is going to have an A8 series APU and a 7670 GPU. That's going to be in the PlayStation 4. The Xbox 720 is going to have an IBM PowerPC processor, a CPU, and a custom version of AMD's 667 GPU, which is identical to the 7670. It's just the manufacturing process is more refined. It's a smaller nanometer chip whatever so on and so forth but performance wise they're exactly the same so the rest of the article just talks about how these guys stole documents from amd and kind of gave them to nvidia i don't care about that welcome to the corporate world that's how it works i just want to talk about the um chips the hardware that's going to be inside of the ps4 and 720 the 7670 and 6670 are not powerful graphics processors. The A8 APU is not a powerful CPU that's going to be inside the PS4. I, I really, I know what I said about the Wii U. I keep bringing it up because I know people are going to throw it up in my face. I really think the playing field between all three of the next-gen consoles, the Wii U, the PS4, and the 720, they're going to be slightly more powerful but if you really think that with a 7670 and 6670 graphics processor that they're going to blow away the Wii U and they're going to be this huge next-gen leap like you're used to seeing with next-gen consoles when they first come out, you're going to be sorely mistaken, ladies and gentlemen. What you're going to get is native 1080p games running about 30 frames per second. You're going to get them with better shadows, tessellation. It's going to be an improvement. I've said that before. But you're not going to get that, oh my god, huge leap that you're used to, like you've seen in the past. It's so funny, I've seen all these videos going around where people are getting, watching, listening to all these rumors, and, you know, like, these specs could change too. Maybe they'll put a more powerful graphics processor inside the two next-gen consoles coming from Sony and Microsoft, but... At this point, with the announcements, like, right around the corner, I don't think so. But all those videos that people were making, like, yeah, it's going to be have like 18 core processor and it's going to have like 300 gigabytes of RAM and a 12 terabyte hard drive. So it's just going to totally just own everything. I can't wait for the Xbox 720. It ain't going to happen. Do you realize that graphics processor is actually more anemic than the one I had inside that budget gaming rig I built and sold? Yeah. It's a step below that one. <laughs> it's not... Uh, it's going to be interesting what, what concerns me too. About all three consoles. You know, I, I'm a little more forgiving of the Wii U because Nintendo went from the original Wii, which was a standard dev console, to the Wii U. But this isn't going to... For people who are used to PS4 and 720, I understand when now... if. That that GPU, that graphics processor inside of a console, you could you could squeeze more out of it. You know, you, when you have a computer, you have other resources being taken up. Things are running in the background. You can't fully utilize the hardware the way you can on a console that's just really dedicated to a certain amount of tasks. So you could get more out of less powerful hardware. But with this modest upgrade in performance that all three next gen systems are going to give. What are developers going to do like three or four years from now? And hell, if the, the, the next generation lasts as long as this one, eight or nine years from now, seven years from now, what are they going to do? 
<laughs> it's going to be so behind the curve. I don't know, man. It's it's going to be an interesting, interesting generation to see how it pans out. You know, maybe this is just a rumor. Or maybe they're going to go with like a seventy-eight, seventy, or maybe you know. I know they're not going with Nvidia. I know Nvidia. It's factual that Nvidia is, has nothing to do with next gen systems. But I, I I don't see how this hardware is going to hold up. Even with Sony, I understand the APU, the uh, A8 series APU they're using as the main processor in there, has a graphics processor built into it that can aid the 7670, and they can combine that together and get a little bit more out of it. But even what the hell is that going to do four years from now? You know, I understand it's not all about graphics. You know, I love gaming. I don't care about everything being, you know, cutting edge. You know, the reason I upgraded to an i7 was more for video editing than gaming. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy. If you're watching this Max Payne 3 footage, again, that's coming from the 1045T and the GTX 570. I'm still rocking AMD when I'm playing Max Payne 3 in this video. But I expected a little more from next gen when i heard 6670 about a little over a year ago that they were going to use that graphics processor in the xbox 720 i was hoping against hope ah this has to be just a rumor that's way too anemic but apparently that that was pretty much dead on i mean this information is coming from the leaked documents from the amd execs so could be still a rumor but this one's pretty much all but guaranteed so very interesting next generation console competition coming up, folks. Be interesting to see what happens. So what's your take on these leaked specs of Sony and Microsoft's next gen systems? Do they impress you? Do you think it's enough horsepower? Or do you think these two next gen systems are going to be too anemic to last for five to seven years? Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have an interesting news story you would like me to discuss, private message me with the link via YouTube. And if I use your news article, I will give you a shout out in the video and feature your youtube channel in the description p.s a lot of you guys sent me this article literally at once so that's why i didn't give anyone a shout out today that's the only reason it wouldn't have been fair to just pick one person all right guys have a good one i'll have a new video uploaded tomorrow